The Mets made repeated inquiries with the Marlins this offseason about trading for catcher JT Realmuto, and will at some point try to revisit the Realmuto situation, Ken Rosenthal said Monday on Fox Sports. Mike Puma of the NY Post reported last week that the Mets had expressed interest in Realmuto, though he didn't specify when they reached out. Realmuto, who has not yet played this season due to a back injury but is nearing a return, requested a trade prior to the season amidst the Marlins' recent fire sale. However, the Marlins are under no obligation to obey that demand. The 27 year old Real Muto will earn $2.9 million this season, and is arbitration eligible after this season and next, before being eligible for free agency after the 2020 season. The Mets recently lost Travis Darno partially torn UCL and Kevin Plawetsky hairline fracture in his left hand to injury, though Plawetsky is expected to miss only two to three weeks. In their stead, the Mets are going with Jose Lobaton and Thomas Nito, though GM Sandy Alderson said last week that the Mets are only comfortable at catcher for the very short term. Real Muto hit .278 slash .332 slash .451 with 17 HR in 141 games last season for the Marlins. While being worth minus 5 DRS behind the plate. Real Muto would be a perfect fit for the Mets regardless of how quickly Plawetsky returns from his hand injury. And with the Marlins in a deep rebuild, the idea that the Mets could find enough minor league pieces to entice Miami isn't far-fetched. The Marlins are building for the future, not hell-bent on getting pieces who can step in right away. And while trading away Giancarlo Stanton, Marcelo Zuna, and Christian Yelich this offseason, they receive tons of lower-level prospects. In their deal for Stanton, which also netted them Starlin Castro, they received one prospect who was in short season A ball, and another who hadn't played above rookie ball. In exchange for Yelich, they received four prospects, two of which have yet to reach double A, and another who hasn't yet reached triple A. So while the upper levels of the Mets farm system are missing can't miss type prospects, it's possible players they have in the lower levels could be enough to land Real Muto. Of note is SS Andres Gimenez, their top prospect, who is with high A St. Lucie. And LHP David Peterson, who the Mets selected with the 20th overall pick in last year's MLB draft. Also in St. Lucie are of Desmond Lindsay, who had a strong 2016 before regressing in 2017, and RHP Justin Dunn, who has excelled so far this season. And if the Mets want to dangle a player or two from the upper levels, highly thought of 1B Peter Alonso is in double A, and slick fielding in.